everyone, welcome to our next Cooking with Kimmy. Today we're going to be making something really simple with some really premium ingredients um, from our friends at Deli Drop. So today we have a really really quick recipe for you using Wagyu cubes. Um, in the past year or so, Wagyu cubes have gotten super super popular. Um, they used to be like something really premium you could only get at fancy like Japanese restaurants but nowadays you can get them in a lot of grocery delivery sites and e-commerce sites. Our Wagyu cubes today are from Snake River Farms and we got them through our friends at Deli Drop. So you can see we have our beautiful Wagyu cubes here. When you have um, meat products or any product um, that's this good, you don't want to do too much to it. So we're just going to do a very simple um, Wagyu cube self cacao. Um, a lot of people just grill Wagyu cubes and obviously that's a great way to enjoy them. But if you're looking for a, something a little bit different but also still really easy, this recipe can be your next go-to or the next thing you try. And we're going to start over medium-high heat. Here I have some olive oil. Of course, all the measurements will be listed down below as always. And then here I have some butter. I'm only going to use half of it right now. The reason we use um, butter and oil in this recipe instead of just one or the other is because the butter adds a lot of flavor, but the oil um, has a higher smoke point than the butter. So it prevents the butter from burning and gives you a really high temperature that gets a nice sear on these wagyu cubes. So I'm adding the garlic here first because actually it takes longer to cook the garlic and soften the garlic than it does to cook the beef. Um, I want to give the garlic some time to infuse the oil and the butter or infuse the fat that we're gonna use to cook everything else and just give it some more time to get a little bit softer especially because here I have garlic cloves that have been crushed not minced so they're a little bit larger I like that if you wanted to do a mince you can go ahead and do that while this is going I'm just gonna season our wagyu cubes here I just have some freshly ground black pepper a little bit of a controversial opinion here but I'm not going to season the wagyu cubes with salt um, if you were grilling the wagyu cubes and serving them plain of course salt salt them um, but the thing with this salpicao is that it's based in a sauce of soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce, um, both of which are liquids that are inherently salty already. So we don't want to add salt to the wagyu cubes at this stage. Um, maybe to finish and to season, if you find that it needs a little bit of salt, you can add salt there. But I feel like the soy sauce and the Worcestershire sauce add plenty of salt to the dish already. So I'm just gonna season these with straight up freshly ground black pepper. And you really want the beef to be in one layer here. You don't want it to overlap because we want to get a nice sear on all the sides of the beef. As you can see now, it's already gotten a nice sear, a nice dark sear. So I'm already gonna start flipping them. Of course, you can. You don't have to flip them one by one. I just like to ensure that every bit gets evenly cooked. So I'm doing them one by one, but you don't have to at all. I'll probably stop doing it when I give up in like five seconds. Okay. And then we're just gonna give it about that same amount of time on the other side, about one minute, and then we're gonna start building our self cacao in the pan. Once you have the beef nice and browned all over, what I'm gonna do is lower the heat and then reintroduce the garlic into the flabby cubes. Then at this stage is where we're gonna add our soy sauce and our Worcestershire sauce. This is really what gives Salticao that signature flavor. Um, if you didn't have it at home, you could do, use more soy sauce or liquid seasoning. So I'm gonna turn the heat back on high, let the liquid that we added in there reduce. Um, I'm gonna scrape up the bottom just so we get any brown bits. What you're gonna see is that this sauce is gonna get really nice and glossy and form like a thicker sauce around the wagyu cubes. Um, another controversial opinion 
red chili. Um, not traditional in South Cal, but it's like a family preference. So if you wanted it spicy, I just have two whole chilies that I've split in half there. They're totally optional and you can leave that out. I'm gonna add the rest of the butter. What's important here is once you add the butter, you wanna stir this vigorously and even move the pan. I'll show you a bit of that later. So what this does is it emulsifies yeah. it emulsifies it emulsifies emulsifies the sauce, makes it thick and glossy and creamy. And you're doing this over very high heat. So again, we haven't even really been cooking for more than five minutes, but you already have something pretty special. Once you drag your wooden spoon through the pan, it doesn't come together super quickly. That means your sauce is nice and thickened. So when you're at this stage, you just want to turn the heat off and that's pretty much it. Um, your Wagyu to South Cacao is finished. Now we're just going to plate this up and serve it. Okay, so we hope you guys enjoyed that really quick and simple recipe with our Snake River Farms Wagyu cubes from our friends at Deli Drop. So here's our slightly spicy South Cacao. And we hope you guys try this at home and we hope you like it. If you guys try it, please comment below, subscribe to our channel, follow Deli Drop PH on Instagram, and order their meat so you can make this. Yay!